Hey cuties, I'm Nikki and you're watching What Happened on the Soaps. Today is December the 1st, 2022. Happy New Month to you. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this, you know what, I'm going to give it an 8 because, fearless. <laughs> What's wrong with my girl? <laughs> Alright, let's get started. We see Diane and Jack and she's thanking him for the support, but she's uh, he also lets her know, listen. I told Ashley, she go to war with you. She go to war with me. I said, cause yeah, Jack, you want to be Ashley's daddy. I, I, I'm so sick of Jack. <laughs> I'm not going to even hold you. I'm tired of Jack. Like you have all these rules for Ashley and you don't want her talking to Tucker and you don't want her doing this. But when she showed concerns about Diane, you told her it wasn't none of her business and she need to be just play nice. Same goes to you. So then they, Kyle comes up because he sees his mama and daddy hugging. He's like, what's going on here? I said, ah, 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 Kyle, you can't have it both ways. Your mama and daddy are going to develop this relationship. So on the one hand, you can't be like, why are you hugging? Why? What's going on? Why are y'all doing this? Grown. They are grown. And if Jack wants to bring Diane back in his life, he can. You don't have a problem bringing her back in. You can't say, I want to bring her back in, but I don't want her getting close to my dad. That's not your business. And, you know, this is like the second or third time that Kyle has been disturbed by seeing them embrace. What do you think is going to happen? Now, he got old times with Diane and Jack seemed to love him some Diane. But anyways, child, she goes ahead and tells uh, Kyle about Jeremy Starks. And he was like, I don't know. I feel like you being like you putting uh, 20 on 10. And she said, no, I'm telling you how dangerous he is. But he says, you know, we'll tell the ladies to stop. And if any, we'll protect you if anything happens. You know, we got you. And she said, oh, my gosh, thank you so much. I'm just so happy to have you guys in my corner and, and fighting for me with these women. They just don't understand how dangerous Jeremy Starks is. I said, dang it. Y'all know how I feel about Diane, but I know y'all like her as well. But I'm, I, I, girl, you got what you wanted. You getting the Abbott to protect you. You working your way back into Jack's heart because she said, can I take you to lunch? He said, how about dinner? I said, well, go on then, Jack. So then we see Summer and Kyle because Summer had been, you know, with her mom and, and dad and her brother and everything. So she come back in and Kyle going to grab Summer up like those attacks that your mom and these women are doing on my mom, they need to stop. And she said, what does it even matter? If Diane didn't do what they said she did, if she didn't turn Jeremy Starks in, it's fine. We can go ahead and prove she didn't do it. And it's all good. And she looked at Kyle. She said, wait, she did do it. And she was like, I am a member of this family. Like I am your wife. I am the mother to Harrison, like a stepmom to Harrison. I should have been informed. And he was like, I know girl, you're going to have to put your foot down with this man. You're going to have to start saying, but she said, it doesn't even matter. My mom never, you know, or not. I'm sure she was just bluffing. Girl, you know your mama wasn't bluffing. So then we go over here with Sharon and Adam. And I don't know why Sharon getting on my nerves, but she's doing all this, like, because Adam is concerned about, um, the involvement of Billy with Chelsea. And she says, he's, he's just helping. And Adam is like, he wants to be the hero. And she said, I don't think you should be judging. Like I said, well, where's all this smoke that you don't have for Billy. And I know y'all love some Billy and y'all are like, I'm so glad he was there for Chelsea, but Adam and Billy feel the exact same way about each other. But Sharon, for some reason is reprimanding Adam, but she doesn't do the same thing to Billy. But I mean, it is neither here nor there. Bill, Adam goes on up to see Chelsea. So then Billy and Lily are at the restaurant society talking, I believe. Yeah, they're at the society talking. And he tells her he wants to check on Chelsea. But you just left Chelsea. What what are you doing? I said, Lily, go on with Daniel. And so she said, You literally just left her why are you checking on her again? He said, something could be wrong. She said, or something could be fine. It could be fine. He said, but we don't know that. So I'm just going to check. And she go on and check, go ahead and check. So then Chelsea, she's alone and thinking about what Lily said, which is you have a whole support team. You don't have to have Billy with you 24 seven. And uh, Lily's not wrong about that. Like, dang, Bi <sighs> Billy and Lily do not need to be together. 
So then Connor comes in and he says he got uh, suspended or he got into a fight or something because a kid called Chelsea crazy. And so he put up the fist because he was like, you're not just about to talk about my mama like this. And so uh, then Adam comes up and they all talk about it. And then they say, you know, they're sorry it happens. Then Connor goes to the back room and Adam like, we're going to have to get that that other student expelled or we're going to have to move Connor. And she said, no, we're going to have to teach him how to deal with this without fighting. And Chelsea was the voice of reason, and Billy, I mean, Billy, and Adam was like, yeah, you, you're right. And so he tries to hug Chelsea, and she gives him a hug, but she says, I'm finna go fix Connor's neck. And I'm like, Adam, what the heck are you doing? Like, what what are you doing? So then, um, oops, my bad. That's my scenario. And so then we see um, Daniel, Phyllis, Summer, and are eating, and they see Lily, and they're like, come on, have a seat. And Lily sit on down with the family. I said, girl, you better stop. And so she sits on down, and they're all talking and, and, and talking business about, you know, all the chain. You know, Phyllis says, how my hotel? She said, well, it's too soon to see, but we're expecting a lot of great things. And, and she says, I heard you. Yeah, there's a lot of changes with Nate jumping ship, Billy leaving. And then Billy sits down and talks too, right? And he's like, what's going on? And, and they said, well, we heard you were leaving. Why would you uh, be leaving and all that? And they get the subject off him. And then they start talking. And Lily starts telling about um Daniel, his new project at Chancellor Winters. And they were like, oh, tell us more. She said, oh, no, we can't tell y'all more. We got to keep it under wraps. And they were like, okay. And Billy said, I didn't even know about that because Billy was wanting to know more too. And, and Phyllis said, uh-uh, you quitting the company. You don't get that uh, inside information. And then when he mentions again, after Daniel gives them a little bit of information, he says, I didn't know about this. And Lily said, you didn't tell me, Lily. And she said, well, you've been so busy. Oh! <laughs> I said, Lily, don't be that petty in front of this man. And so then everybody started. So Phyllis and Summer have to go back to work, right? And then Lily has to answer an email or a phone call or something like that, child. So it's just Billy and Daniel. He said, oh, Billy, you ain't changed at all. And Billy said, I feel like this is an insult. What you trying to say? He said, I'm not saying nothing. I'm just saying you haven't changed. You're still same old Billy, always, you know, uh, flinting around, just you you do this here for a little while, then you move on to something else. He said, after Kane, I'm surprised Lily um would go for that again, but I guess some things never change. And I said, are you insulting this man? Yo, why is Daniel so handsome to me? <laughs> so I said, Daniel, with your handsome self, are you insulting Billy? He said, no, I'm just speaking facts. And so Lily come back and she said, what's going on, guys? And I said, your man was, I mean, your your ex-man was insulting your new man and the truth hurts. <laughs> so then baby Nikki and um Ashley are talking, right? Nikki and Ashley are talking. And, and Ashley is like, guess who's on Diane's team? Jack, girl, he told me if it's war with Diane, it's war with him. And Ashley said, and Nikki's like, okay, so you're not going to be a participant. Ashley said, oh, this. <laughs> He ain't my daddy, and I'm going to get Diane out of time. I'm, I'm going to do what I have to do. And Nikki said, no, I don't really want you to go and do all this kind of stuff. And then she tells her about how Tucker is kind of backing off. And she, But Ashley did say, I don't think we should reach out to Jeremy Starks because we don't know if he's dangerous or not. Because we know he did white-collar stuff, but we don't know like if he's dangerous. And then Nikki tells her about Talia pretty much saying, I, I, I ain't doing this story. And so then they said, well, let's just decide. They, they haven't decided if they're going to reach out to Jamie Starks or not. Baby, too late. Because <laughs> Phyllis came in. She said, it's done. And they said, what's done, girl? She said, I reached out to De De uh, Jeremy Starks anonymously, of course. And I told him, Diane's the one that put you in there. Because they're not for sure if Diane did it or not. But we know that she did it because she's told Jack and Kyle and everyone that she did. Baby, Phyllis already uh, moved the ball on that. So... It is what it is. And that was Young and the Restless today, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I will be going live again, not this Friday, but the next Friday. And I hope you to see you there. Join me tomorrow for the final episode of What Happened on the Soaps, Young and the Restless edition. Thank you so much for watching. 